Unveiling the reality, the true story behind I'm Not a Drug God. The movie I'm Not a Drug God isn't just a thrilling ride. It's inspired by a real-life story. Let's delve into the truth behind this cinematic masterpiece. The film is based on the life of a man named Lu Yong. Previously a manager in a textile company, his life took a turn when diagnosed with leukemia. Lu Yong was initially treated with a patented drug that was costing him a fortune. But his life's savings started depleting with the cost of the treatment. Realizing the drug's high cost was due to its patent, Lu Yong found a generic version was available in India for a much lower price. But importing this drug without a patent was illegal in China. Despite this, Lu Yong decided to take the risk to save his life and the lives of others. Lu Yong, with his courage and determination, started importing the generic drug from India. His sole purpose was to help his fellow leukemia patients who couldn't afford the patented medicine. He did not do this for profit. Lu Yong sold the drugs at cost to those in need. He wanted to provide treatment options to those who couldn't afford it. His actions, however, did not go unnoticed. In 2014, Lu Yong was arrested and accused of selling fake drugs. The people he had helped were shocked. They knew Lu Yong wasn't a drug dealer. He was their savior, providing them with an affordable treatment. They rallied together, voicing their support for Lu Yong. Many publicly declared how Lu Yong had saved their lives with the drug he provided. Pressure from the public and media eventually led to his release. Instead of being treated as a criminal, Lu Yong started to be recognized as a hero. The movie I'm Not a Drug God showcases Lu Yong's journey from a man with cancer to a savior of fellow patients. It's a story of courage, determination, and selflessness. The movie changes the name of the protagonist to Chung Yong, but the essence of the character remains the same. Just like Lu Yong, Chang Yong is a man battling both leukemia and the system. The film excellently portrays the struggle of a man who challenged the law for a cause. It's a testament to Lu Yong's courage and willingness to risk his own life to help others. The movie ignites a conversation about the exorbitant drug prices that put life-saving medication out of reach for many. It raises questions about the system that values patents over lives. The film not only tells a compelling story, but also sparks a dialogue about affordable healthcare. It forces viewers to confront the disparities in healthcare access. I'm Not a Drug God shows the power of human spirit. It shows how one man's actions can impact countless lives. The film also highlights the importance of community. When Lu Yong was arrested, it was the community he built that rallied to his defense. The movie is a stark reminder of the power that individuals hold. It shows that change is possible when one person decides to make a difference. I'm Not a Drug God gives us a hero in Lu Yong. His story challenges us to question the system and imagine a world where healthcare is accessible to all. Not only does it entertain, but the film also educates and inspires. It acts as a call to action for each one of us to be a catalyst for change. In conclusion, I'm Not a Drug God is more than just a movie. It's a story of resilience, rebellion, and the strength of the human spirit. The movie offers a glimpse into the real-life heroics of Lu Yong. It provides a compelling narrative that encourages us to question, challenge and change the world around us. So, let's remember the story behind I'm Not a Drug God. Let's remember Lu Yong and his fight for affordable healthcare. And let's continue his legacy by advocating for access to affordable medication for all.